What's going on? It's Corp from Cody Media. I want to talk about how to hire employees for, for your restaurant with social media. As I talk to restaurant owners across the country, this seems to be the biggest issue right now here in April 2021. Restaurants are starting to open back up again. Uh, we're entering into spring and summertime. Restaurants are starting to get busier again. And from what I understand, the big bottleneck is hiring people you know if they if restaurants could hire more people they could serve more customers so it's becoming a problem of restaurants being able to uh, make more money now i'm not going to get into all the nitty-gritty reasons why people might not be applying right now but i want to give you three strategies that you can implement today using social media um, to hire people and I have a bonus ninja trick that I'll share at the end so the first one is you need to create a place where people can apply how can they um, um, apply and and get in in touch with you so the first place I would start is uh, in Facebook jobs okay now I know you can do some people do indeed or some of those other ones I, you know, I have not seen luck with restaurants doing that. So what you can do is if you go to your Facebook page, okay, and I'm on an iPad here, so it looks a little bit different, and you should have an option for manage jobs. Where is it? Uh, manage jobs right there, okay? And um, I'm going to create a job. And right here, it has the information. Now, Here's a couple things that you'll want to think about. How can you set yourself apart from other people? What makes you different right now than other people? Um, you know, you can, you can, uh, sell up the fact that, hey, we're super busy right now. You know, a year ago, um, restaurants were not busy and you weren't making tips. Right now, we're busy and we've got customers coming in. We need help and you're going to be able to make tips. So if you can sell that, what are some of the advantages you have right now that maybe weren't true a year ago? Okay, or even three months ago, what's different now? How can people have a good experience? Show what the experience is like. What is it like working there? Um, show some of the people. Show your current employees and the fun things they do. Make it real. Don't make it just about the food. People come to work because of the people. So if you, whatever you can do to showcase who the people are that work there, who the customers are, that will go a long way. Number two is now that you have a place where people can apply, now I would send this out to your database. If you have a list of people, um, of, of customers in email or uh, their phone numbers, um, I would send that out and let that know. And in the subject line be, uh, we're hiring, okay? Make it super clear. And because your customers, they're gonna be your best referral people. And so in the email or in the text message say, hey, are you or someone you know looking for a fun, fast-paced environment where you can make tips? And, and on and on. We want to chat. Go here and give them this link to apply. Okay. And so that's another way to reach out to your people. And you can, you know, those people are going to be your best advocates. They're going to say, Oh yeah, I know. Um, Sally, she, she'd be great to work there. I'm going to reach out to Sally. Okay. So that's number two. Number three is, um, after about a year ago, there were a lot of Facebook groups that popped up for um, people looking for jobs. And so what I would encourage you to do is look in your city, look in your area, your state. Are there groups, Facebook groups I'm talking about, where people are looking for jobs, job hunting? And what you can do is you can share this into your group okay or into that group and let people know because there's people in there who are actively looking for jobs all right so that's number three number four is an offline strategy but this has worked really really well for um, some people I'm working with what you can do is have um, referral bonuses okay am I did I spell that right okay referral bonuses what you can do is you can say hey it you know you go to your staff and say look if you find somebody who's interested and they come in for an interview and we hire them, we're going to give you a bonus and we're going to split it up into three pieces. And you could do this as uh, gift cards. Um, maybe it's a, a, a local store, local place you want to support. You give them a gift card. Maybe it's an Amazon gift card, whatever it is. And you do three and you say, you're going to get one on their first day after they've um, completed their first ship 
shift because one of the important things is they've got to come in and work, right? So that's number one. Number two is, okay, after a month, okay? After a month, you get your second part of the bonus, okay? So maybe it's a $200 bonus. They get $50 on day one. They get $100 on the next day. And then um, after three months, they get the third part. So what does this do? This encourages your team to bring you good people that are actually gonna show up and it's gonna encourage your team to encourage them, the new people, to stay longer. You know, hey, you know, they're gonna they're gonna be like their their buddy. Hey, you know, um, you know, stay on, you know, keep with it, and they're gonna be big sport because what are they gonna do? They're gonna want to get those extra bonuses throughout those months. So um, those are a couple quick ideas. You know, I know it's a struggle right now for people across the board, um, across the country, what, what I'm seeing right now, but these are some places I would start doing today if you want to hire people. If you have ideas about how you're hiring people or things that have worked for you, I'd love to hear about it. Drop it in the comments below and we can share that with others. So hope you're having a fantastic day. Get out there, sell some food, hire some people, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.